Hello and welcome to My Security TV. My name is Chris Cubbage and we're filming in Sydney. I'm joined by Dr. Rustin Kanga, the CEO of iOmniSeant. Rustin is on the front cover of the Australian Security Magazine this, this issue for our CCTV special edition. Rustin, thanks for joining us. Thank you, Chris. Rustin, uh, I'm the CNT, uh, now, well, certainly a leader in video analytics and uh, been recognised worldwide with some international awards. Maybe just give us a, a brief background as to where I'm the CNT came from and where you see the company uh, established now. Well, we started up 10 years ago and uh, our objective was to uh, establish some uh, capabilities in video analysis that were not available in the industry. We found that uh, there were many, many people who could do what is called video motion detection, which is to uh, see things moving. And those technologies work when um, there's an empty scene, because they work on the basis of you take one image, you take the next image, you compare the two. If nothing moves, uh, then there's no change. If something has moved, yep. there was some change yes. in the scene. And you can use that to catch somebody jumping over a fence. But that technology doesn't work in complex and crowded scenes like airports and railways where everything is moving. So you, fo you so focused that's on what the we focused place. on. Well, what we focused on was trying to do things that were not available then, yes. things that people said were impossible. And that's what we continue to focus on. Uh, not just finding a bag in an empty scene. We can count crowds. We can do face recognition in a crowded scene. Uh, not just a one-to-one -one that you see in Sydney Airport, for instance. And that's where the real innovations come from, isn't it? Where you've used that analytical uh, analysis of a crowded scene, of, of a complex moving yeah. scene, uh, and looking for algor or using algorithms to search uh, those scenes and to analyse them? Yes, that is one aspect of what we do. We've also, I mean, uh, our software is very, very uh, comprehensive. So even for simple scenes, what we have is a capability called uh, Nuisance Alarm Minimization System, NAMS, which helps to eliminate false alarms. Because even in a simple scene where you have one man jumping over a fence, you can have multiple false alarms due to clouds, due to trees moving, due to a whole bunch of things. And uh, our system is designed to cope with that because in a security environment, if you get a thousand false alarms every night, people will shut down the system and they will not be able to watch it. Um, Rustin, you've written uh, a book, so you've, uh, you're an author as well. Uh, maybe what's the background behind writing the book? Uh, more than just uh, you know, explaining what video analytics is, but uh, you know, getting that, uh, the, message, the key messages out there to the industry. The artificial intelligence-based video analysis that we do is a very, very new technology. It is not familiar to people in the security industry. So uh, we found we needed to educate the industry. We found that people had, uh, they, they made assumptions about what video analysis could do. They either assumed that it was uh, no good because they had experience with a lot of uh, low level suppliers and technologies, or they had watched uh, CSI and they assumed the technology could do lots of things that it, uh, today it cannot do. And hence our focus in the book was to educate the market, to explain to people what's available today and also what the limits of the technology are. Do you think that the wider industry, I mean, your, your technology has been used throughout the world now uh, and, uh, as I mentioned, uh, international awards. Do you think that is, that's the major driver now for critical infrastructure protection, public transport systems? Are you seeing that the industry wants uh, video analytics more and more? Yes, definitely. Certainly the more sophisticated users have realized that if you have a thousand cameras, there's no point in wasting your money on having a thousand cameras if you do not have video analysis on every camera. And you find that the more sophisticated users are actually doing that. Why is that? Because if you were an operator and you were watching just two cameras, after 20 minutes, you'd probably see nothing. So you need a system that'll tell you that somebody's fallen down on camera 65, somebody's left a bag on camera 200, that Bin Laden's brother has turned up on camera 655. You need a system that'll tell you that so that the operator can focus his attention on one or two or five things that are happening rather than on a thousand cameras 
in which case he sees nothing. Look, it's, it's critical, particularly as you say, uh, the more cameras you get, the, you can have as many eyes as you like, but if there's no brain behind it, uh, there's, there's no, really no point. Uh, Rustin, uh, well done on, uh, on where you've brought I Am The Scene over the years. Uh, well done again on, on being an author now and writing a book. Uh, and thanks again for being on the cover and contributing to the Australian Security Magazine. Appreciate you coming on the show. Chris, thank you very much.